హలో డియర్ ఫ్రెండ్స్ వెల్కమ్ టు శిక్షా మంత్ర అండ్ ఇన్ శిక్షా మంత్ర టుడే వీ ఆర్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ సంథింగ్ వెరీ స్పెషల్ సంథింగ్ విచ్ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ ఆర్ డియర్ అండ్ ఐ మే టెల్ యూ వాంగ్ థింగ్ దట్ ఇట్ వుడ్ హెల్ప్ యూ టు లెర్న్ అండ్ టు ఫ్లరిష్ ఇన్ యువర్ సిబిఎస్ఇ క్లాస్ ఎలెవెన్ ఇంగ్లీష్ లిటరేచర్ సో ఫస్ట్ లుక్ అట్ దిస్ పిక్చర్ could you tell me what tree is this and there's the picture of a bird could you tell me which bird is this yes dear friends you have already understood what's my intention is and which chapter i'm going to discuss today yes this is labarnum top by ted hodges the labarnum top is really a very important poem in your syllabus when we discuss about the labarnum top first things that we must get to that we must remember that we must create a frame within our mind is this one this a uh, picture of a labarnum tree and also there's another character actually if you go through this poem you'd find only two characters the labarnum tree and also the gold finch bird so here first you must remember the picture of these two components of these two characters the laburnum tree itself is a character here and the gold finch is also another character so first remember these two characters well they are going to help you a lot to learn this poem now what is a laburnum tree this is a very beautiful tree that comes with yellow flower and here you'd have to consider the color of both the laburnum tree and also the goldfinch bird the their colors are yellow there's a very beautiful matching in their colors but at the same time you must remember another factor that a laburnum tree its flowers are beautiful but its seeds are poisonous and because of the poisonous seeds many animals actually stay away from these plants and that is where the poison helps to thrive life how would we'll learn in the latter part of the video so stay tuned to this so let's begin our discussion of the laburnum top so here we are going to learn something that's a very much essential in our learning of the poem the labarnum tree top the labarnum tree top revolves round a labarnum tree and a gold finch bird the core theme of the poem shows us the repaying relationship between the two further it begins by describing how the labarnum tree is pretty quiet in the yellow september light he notices the yellow leaves of the tree and the seeds on the ground it appears to be still flittingly till a gold finch bird perches on its branch the poet witnesses the tree come to life as soon as the bird starts chirping upon the arrival of the mother gold finch the tree and the nestlings start chirping and become alive she keeps flying in and out to feed her young ones thus when she lives the tree once again turns its elusive silence yes dear friends it reflects our life at large so let's begin line by line discussion of the poem the laburnum top is silent quite still in the afternoon yellow september sunlight a few leaves yellowing all its shades fallen so when the poem begins it begins with depicting a picture the picture of a laburnum tree in its uh, surroundings it's pretty beautiful but it's silent so at the same time it's beautiful and silent as if life has been shaped out of it normally what we like we like to enjoy something that is thriving with life that is full of life it also rejuvenates us 
But when we look at this laburnum tree, the tree looks very silent, very still and also yellow in color. There's a yellow there's the yellow sunlight of the setting sun that falls upon the tree makes it yellowish as well and the color yellow is also very much important here because you must understand that the yellow color also suggests the lack of life there's also another point that is autumn and the leaves and seeds are fallen so it uh, suggests that uh, there is uh, some life is uh, taken out of the tree. The tree looks beautiful but not so much attractive. Why? Because it's not very happy. It's silent. It's still. And it's also afternoon. Afternoon is just uh, a time which uh, considers to be uh, the approaching death, the approaching darkness, the approaching darkness of the night. So there in the very first three lines you would find a very uh, mixed feelings. Though at the very beginning it appears to be very much uh, beautiful, it appears to be a description of a beautiful tree but it's actually not there at the very beginning the third word the labarnum top the top labarnum l and the t they are written in capital so here we must put focus on a point that is the top is capitalized so our focus is not on the tree itself but only at the top of the tree so the laburnum top is now silent it's quite still and on the top of the laburnum tree there falls the september afternoon sunlight which is yellow in color so now if we check the next lines till the golden flitch comes with a twitching chirrup a suddenness, a startlement at a branch end, then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt. So it enters the thickness and the machine starts up. So, so then comes a gold finch. With a twitching chirrup, there is a chirrup when the gold finch appears. So, so far it was silent, but the silence was broken at the appearance of the goldfinch bird and when the goldfinch appears there is a suddenness a startlement at a branch end so suddenly the branches started moving so far everything was very still and silent and quiet but at the appearance of the goldfinch there comes some life there comes some stirment startlement and here the bird is uh, actually compared with a lizard, then sleek as a lizard and alert and abrupt. The bird is here considered just as a lizard. Why? Because of its appearance. Just like uh, a lizard, the bird stealthily approached. And also, he was very much alert. Alert for what? a lot for the approaching dangers and when she enters the thickness that is the thick part of the tree the top of the tree the branches where his nest resides so when he she enters that thick part it, it appears that suddenly a machine starts up it appears as if a machine had suddenly come into life. Some activities started in and around the laburnum top. Of chitterings and of tremor of wings and thrillings and whole tree trembles and tr thrills. It is the engine of her family. So when she enters into the thickness, suddenly some activities started there. 
what is the activities the activities are of chitterings there was chirpings the bird was chirping actually there in the top of the tree there's a nest of the goldfinch i've told you now that the tree is actually poisonous because of its seeds the seeds are poisonous so these poisonous trees also help the birds like goldfinch to take their uh, future generation to live on the top of the laburnum trees and they are chef and shake yard so otherwise uh, the tree is poisonous but at the same time it helps life to thrive so when the bird approaches the tree the nestlings started flapping round they started chattering and uh, they were demanding food from their mother the mother was also uh, uh, providing them food they were flapping their wings creating tremor on the top of the tree so it appears as if everything had started thriving and throbbing just like a huge machine but which machine is this this machine is actually the family of the goldfinch and now if we consider the next lines she stokes it full then flutters out to a branch end showing her bald face identity mask then with a very delicate visual chirrup whisperings she launches away towards the infinite and the laburnum subsides to empty so when she had uh, provided her children with food when they were fed she maintained a distance very slowly she shifted to the end of the branch and there we must remember the picture of a goldfinch her face is actually masked there's a black on her face and uh, that is uh, considered here that uh, he bird face identity mask her bird face identity mask so her face was masked now she is getting ready to leave this tree top and to find out more food for her children so when she spread her wings as if in a wish paw she uh whistled and then uh, she uh, launches away then she went away and she jumped up from the tree spread her wings and started flying into the sky appearing to be going away appearing that she was leaving for the infinite sky we don't know where she was going but she left the tree and what is most important factor here that when she left the laburnum subsides to empty everything got silence again everything about the tree has become still and quiet and silent the life of the tree has been shaped out yes dear students so that is the poem we have to discuss but there is some deep sense in this poem so now we would have to find out what's there in this poem now we would have to find out the key features of this poem and uh, you have to keep a good uh, notice of what i'm saying here because these are very much important points over here yellow represent silence death and beauty so color is very much important in a poem color speaks a lot and you must put sufficient uh, focus on the color imagery so if we consider yellow it actually represents silence death and beauty these three things does he uses this color and describes the whole settings perfectly so the description of 
the tree and the bird the color yellow it actually gives a perfect setup for this poem and uh, this is also very much important the poet gives two contrasting scenarios while describing the tree now why contrast is so much essential why we are discussing about contrast because you must know contrast is the life of a plot if there is no contrast there the plot or the story uh, you may consider the poem its theme they don't move further because it's the contrast that provides some extra force for the theme to move so what contrast is there in this poem first was that it was death like and then it gains life after the bird lands on it so it's between life and death it's between silence and getting noisy the tree was uh, just uh, like a dead person there was no activity but when the bird appears activity started so the life of the tree comes back so this is the contrast death life death without the bird death the bird comes life the bird lives death so this contrast helps the poem to proceed further and now if we consider the tree it also symbolizes the pattern of our life in general which is usually dull and inanimate and when our life appears to be dull and inanimate we must remember that it don't stay forever sometimes our life gets rejuvenated with the arrival of a friend here the bird adds meaning to the apparently boring life of the tree in other words it is the attitude of a person towards life that makes life meaningful and worth living so these are the most important factor regarding this poem and when you write down the answers you would have to remember them well because without these factors it's very difficult for you to get to the details of the explanation and the questions which you would be given in your exam so to sum up the libanum top we learn about the sweet and nurturing relationship between the tree and the bird and how they both play such important roles in their lives so that's all dear students thank you for watching so just uh, stay glued to this channel because we are going to have many more videos from literature now on so happy learning stay safe stay home stay happy.